testing, testing, one, two, three. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another showing of the Valor Racing League on YouTube. My name is Slay Grant, and today it's the Heart of Dixie 150 here at the Talladega Super Speedway for our Speedway Collective National Series. That is the Xfinity Series branch of the Valor Racing League uh, NASCAR Heat Series. And tonight it's race number one of the round of eight, the 18th race of the long 20 race season for our drivers tonight, and it should be a good one here at Talladega. Talladega. I'm alongside Nick here, and Nick. Talladega is almost always an exciting race on NASCAR Heat. What do you expect to see tonight? Well, I'm expecting to see a lot of three wide, four wide racing, and you know that freight train racing. You know that's what we want to see from. Well, not really see from plate racing, but you like to see three and four wide and making those positions. You just gotta, you know, I like to see those three and four wide man. Three and four wide could be the name of the game here, especially in the round of eight, and with it being Talladega in the playoffs. Anything could happen, you know, guys who might not have the speed wise to make to the round of four, being as fast as some guys in this series, they might oh. come in clutch here. Very right, for sure. And, you know, what you don't, you know, we see some guys, you know, like in real life, we see that some guys take the fuel, they take fuel only because, you know, tires aren't really a big key in super speedways at times during the stages, but, you know, like I said, fuel could mean a lot in the stages. You could save some. You can you can make it. You could, you know, you, fuel is one of those key things for tonight's race. Yes, it might be. And as we go into the race, invites are about to be sent for us to be able to join the lobby. With that, we're going to go our starter here. Once we get in, and of course, before we do get into this lobby, we have to thank uh, our sponsors and affiliations here at the Valor Racing League, which include our partner, our sponsor, uh, Spoo Collective the fantasy nascar rap for uh for nascar so be sure to check them out on twitter at sc fantasy racing uh pokemon raceway our affiliation with them uh let, allowing us to use their name on our cup series make sure to check them out on twitter at pokemon raceway you know, everybody knows what pokemon raceway is at and for double g construction and roofing for sponsoring our playoff season so make sure to check them out we had a flyer on there go make sure to call that number on that flyer do any of construction and roofing needs. We're going to hop in the lobby here in a second. Take a quick break. As we load into the lobby here, once again, 150 miles here at the top. This is with 50% times two tire and fuel wear on normal draft. Should be an exciting one here tonight. Usually our races are on lowest draft, as you guys know. But tonight, of course, Super Speedways, it is on normal. As we go over our store here for tonight's Heart of Dixie 150, brought to us through the collective. Familiar faces on the front row, kit like Jason, the 99 is on pole with a 49.576, the only driver in the 49.5s. He sits on pole tonight in a much needed race for him. Go to this start order here, get up to Jason. Outside of him, that's Katie in the five, who has been very dominant in this the second half of the season, winning four races. He starts outside in P2. Teammates of both these guys with the Here to Win Esports team, Berthier, he starts P3. P4 belongs to number four of Coach Matt as well, who was on a tear the first half season. Kind of cooled down, but still, your regular season or, uh, lead net has the most playoff points going into this uh, round of eight. Row three brings number 39 of, Cyber, 39 of Cyber K Bionic and number seven of Chasing You. Row four, number 89 of Expert Sniper and the 61 of Joker Smoker. Closing out the top 10, number 13 of Carol Clinton, number four of Robbie Racing, a playoff driver. The fifth playoff driver, or the fourth playoff driver, or sixth playoff driver, excuse me, wow, <laughs> in this field. 11th, uh, row 6 brings number 51 of Easy e and 21 of El Griggs. Row 7 brings number 11 of Big D and number 4, 92 of Jocko. Row 8 brings number 54 of Koala, a playoff driver, and number 90 of MJO. In the final row, row 19, number 19 of Brandon, the final playoff driver in the field, and number 808 of Ace Strikes coming back for uh, his season. And we're already underway here at Talladega. Jason, heck of a jump. Katie on the outside, already slipping back to third. You see, uh, as we move. You see, you gotta find that dance partner because you see now Jason has 
the 66 right there of birds are, you know, Toyotas work with Toyotas, Chevys work with Chevys, and so forth, but do you stick with the Toyotas if you were in this situation? Of course. The uh, the 99, the 66, and 5 are all teammates, and so uh, if I were them, I'd work, try to work together the best I could, and they're already split into two lanes here, Katie. Now it's Burster and Coach Matt jumping up to the high side, trying to lead the high side. That's Jason and Cyber K. Bionic, followed by the 89 of Expert Sniper, who did not make the playoffs with Sniper. Teammates with that 39, trying to do the best he can to help him out. And you see that bottom line? Push to the number 99 and kill like Jason. And those guys on the outside probably regretting what they did. Burster, Coach Matt, all KD falling to the back quickly. If so we have an onboard of MJO, and he is passing a 21 to 4, and will fall behind the 61. But Burster started started in the third position already back to the teens. Yeah, and you see, we see some of the guys are, like you said, the 66 of a Burster, you know, fell back to the teens. That's probably playing it smart, as you see. You know, he's, I believe that is the 13 of Caleb, right? Or, yeah, Caleb right there on the high side and trying to go in line with it, that team. And, you know, some of these guys, like I just said, trying to fall back and, like, save enough of that probably fuel. Or, you know, some of the guys fall to the back and work their way up probably towards the end of this thing. We might see as Katie trying to make a run. Oh, Coach Matt, three wide for the fifth position. As Ace strikes, wow! All we're only on lap, we're only on lap three here. And Ace strikes started dead last, 18th, and he's up to third. That's unbelievable. Trying to find our onboard here tonight for tonight's event, and we'll onboard that will be used to be the 19 of Brennan. That'll be the count we have for lap oh. counters. Oh, it's oh. one car down to the it's infield, 51. 51 of Easy E. He saves Good it. Save. Great save by Easy. And I, there was one thing I got meant. I forgot to mention is we gotta be careful with the big one because you don't know when it's gonna happen. It's just gonna, it's gonna happen soon. And anytime it could happen with a big pack like this, as we're looking on more Brennan here in the number 19 rides P13. Brennan more conservative route tonight, tonight, but he could lose the draft as. He has, there's a big gap separating him and the 92 of Jocko. And so one of our playoff contenders, Brennan, who goes high now. To let this pack behind him go. That pack includes the 9 of Coach Matt, 4 of Robbie, 21 L. Griggs, 5 KD. So in this back pack of cars, 13th to 17th, there are approximately three playoff contenders. I believe Coach Matt's draft has now caught this pack. And we have a big run here from the 9. Oh, trouble! Hard. Ooh, one car! KD's involved. There they go. Looks 89 like of extra sniper, 5 KD. Try to see what happened there. And that appears to not bring out a yellow. Wow, that is shocking. 704 game physics. Tap. And you see, you mentioned uh, Birdster. He was in the teens, and look where he's back. He's running back in the top five with that big run. A lot of cars involved in that one. 21 and the 19 are now off the draft. These two not involved in the wreck, but way off the pay or off the pack now. The five is ball by himself and the nine. So the two biggest drivers in this series this season. Remember what I mean? There you see is some guys are, you know, you could see that four, five car group as. You know, they may have to block. Here comes the 11. This may, may play effect with the 7 of chasing you pushing the 11 right there of Big D. Right now we're coming to 8 laps to go in Stage 1. There's 4 laps to go, of course. Right now it has oh, been... On... Sorry, but look on the high side. Here comes the 54 of Koala with Big D. Yeah, 54, a... Uh... The biggest upset here in the round of 8-54 who entered the playoffs, seeded 12th, last in the playoffs, had a very impressive round of 12. Therefore, he actually entered the round of 12th third. So he obviously reset. He was now 8th in the round of 8. So 54 has got a lot of work to do if he wants to have that same magic gap and that was in the round of 12. 
But as we now we come to three laps to go in stage one, it is Kilt Like Jason leading, Cyber K Bionic second, Ace Strikes, who won the second race this season at Dover, and due to a schedule conflict, has only ran four races this season. Uh, and with that, he's making his fifth start tonight in their 18th race, but he, like I said, he went from 18th to third in just two laps here with all the carnage and or not really the carnage just all the guys who chose the outside and slipped back he was able to go up the third but as we mentioned the outside everybody going up birdster one of the first cars to try to make that outside work who fell back to the teens back up to fourth with robbie racing fifth and caleb hunt now closing back in sixth you mentioned kill like jason was out front he's led all the he's been leading since lap number one that's I mean, you're, you're thinking he's going to lead the last one Depends. Strategy will not come into play for the first uh, two stages. Should just be running out until uh, the stage ends, unless we get a caution. Um, if he can just keep that lead, I think he'll uh, he'll get a bunch of stage points here in the first two stages, which will help him deeply in the round of eight. Uh, and the same thing goes for like guys like Cyber. They, if they are able to stay up there, they should be fantastic. But if I'm if I'm Cyber. I will try to find a way to fall back to that third spot. I know this might be as weird as it sounds. He's running second and doing a great job. But he's kind of in a position right now where he really can't make a move because of just how tight and how close he is to the 99. If he can finish third this stage, only compromising a point, he would be able to restart third uh, for stage number two and have a great run on the inside to prepare him for stage two. So we have a few, few cars moving to the outside, seven of... Uh, chasing you, 54 of Koala trying to follow, but Koala puts his nose back in as Chasing You was a few spots as we're now coming to the white flag in stage number one. Oh, two cars hooked, the 11 and the 7. That's Big D and Chasing You. They stay high, they will stay in the draft most likely. Problems from the yeah, 11 we, though. We saw the uh, we saw the uh, four car. Um, we saw Robbie, he went to the high side. No one went with him. That's why he's in that big, in that, uh, behind the 54 of Koala right there. Maybe behind the 61. We have a big move here. These two, the front two, trying to stay with each other. Chasing, or Caleb Hunt, or Caleb K. Bonic, no, nothing to do. Burster on the OA, they lagged back. Burster now with a huge run on the outside. Here comes the 66 on the outside. Caleb Hunt and Koala trying to follow three toilers on the outside. Ace strikes and Jocko, however. Teammates for that Saints Motorsports team on the bottom trying to do something. Ooh, 66, little contact though. He will fall back to the outside and will lose great spots as we go to the tribal stage number one. Kill like Jason, pushed by the 39 Sky Cyber K Bionic. They will finish 1 2 in stage one. Ace strikes third. I believe fourth goes to Jocko. And as the stage finishes up. Everybody across the line, as we just said, Kellogg Jason wins his fifth stage of the season. Second place goes to Cyber K Bionic. Third place belongs to the number 08 of Ace Strikes. Fourth belongs to the number 92 of Jocko. As we scroll down the order, if we can. Hoping Brennan does so. It's only way we can get our stage results. Uh, right now, as we wait for the rest of that order, 10th place Joker Smoker, 9th place Birdster. So, oh, there we go. Uh, Koala, very impressive P5 stage finish right there. Robbie will finish 6th. Caleb Hunt, 7th. Big Dean, 11th is 8th. Birdster, 9th. Joker Smoker, 10th. So, Birdster, who was at 1.2nd in turn 3 when we came uh, on the final lap, finishes 9th in stage number 1. We're back green for stage two. Coach Matt, little strategy play, got involved in a crash in stage number one. He will restart on the front row, P1 to be exact. That puts Jason on the outside in second, behind Jason of number four, number six, six of Burster, P4. And A strikes, will restart third. It looks like he'll be second here as we go into turn two and out of turn two. Big jostling in the back, as you can see, a lot of these guys trying to get some free real estate here. As you can see, uh, Caleb is he well he was I thought he was gonna go down and let the let Big D in but looks like not as that outside lane isn't working in this in these first two stages hopefully it does work in that final stage but like yep few cars in the back fall into the very far back of the pack 39 of Cyber 13 of Caleb Point 16 of Joker Smoker all were up front on that outside line they fall back to the teens out to the top 10, but up front, as we see here, one car lagging back in third position as the five of KD, if I'm not mistaken. KD trying to make a run and get around the 08 and the 9 to get the Toyota back up front for the Halo 1 Esports team. 
But it's Coach Matt leading right now with Ace Strikes trying to push. And here comes the run from KD. He's going to peek to the outside. Help. Oh, oh, Coach Matt, a block. Not going to be good enough, I don't think. KD does clear him. They're three wide now for a second. Ace Strikes on the inside. Coach Matt in the middle. Jason on the outside. Now Burts are on the outside as Jason clears. And Burster will now clear that great move by the Win Esports team. Those top three right now on that outside, those are all teammates as Jason will peek to the inside of the five and they get it done. Here to win eSports, great maneuver there. They were third through fifth on the back stretch and they are now first through third. There is, ooh, contact. Oh wait, had a nose oh, underneath oh, the no. 66, Juggle. nine twos in the wall. And that's gonna cause carnage. Again. There they go. One car throughout the grass, nine goes around, 51's in the grass. Oh. No caution. And, boy, and no we caution were just again. We were just talking about how good Coach Matt was doing on that restart. Start on that front row and just jog very back into the back. As you see, we have a, I believe that's a seven car group right there with KD leading that train. Yep, seven guards in this pack from first to seventh. It follows as KD, Jason, Burtzer, all teammates. Ace strikes fourth. Fifth is Robbie Racing, who's moved up to the top five. Sixth, Koala. Seventh is Cyber K Bionic with another pack forming by these guys. This is a five car pack chasing you. MJO, uh, Caleb Hunt, Extra Sniper, Big D. A little jostling back here with these guys. Um, a little unhappiness, but the guys who were involved in that incident and where no yellow was thrown. 92 of Jocko, 19 of Brennan, playoff contender, 21 of El Griggs, 61 of Joker Smoker. Uh, and I believe, let's see, one more. 51 of Easy e also involved. And then 9 of Coach Matt, definitely not happy with how that went for him, who was uh, leading at one point, tried to block the 5, couldn't get it done, and was put 3 wide, and just some contact between the 08 and 66. Oh, it has a nose on 66 now. That's the same move that got the 92 into some carnage, and he makes it happen. Oh, wait, of A strikes trying to separate this here to win esports group, and he's doing a great job doing it. Very well. And you see, he broke that A strike, actually broke that Toya train, because you see, they were 1, 2, 3, and now they're 1, 2, and hopefully those Toyos can block that Chevy in this fight coming here in stage number 2. And we went through there, the, we uh, reviewed that wreck because we had the brand on board, a great view of it. It appears the 08 had a nose underneath the 66, and from the eye, it was borderline that the 08 may have been underneath the yellow line or that the 66 shut him down there. Uh, that's a call we'll have to make later tonight. Um, but the that that made contact when the 08 went back up to try to save his race car. 92, nowhere to go. 92 went to the 61, and that's what caused the 51, 19, and uh, the 9 especially, cars like that to go around. So uh, a big talking point now as the rest of this race goes on, the double yellow line, the 08 appeared to think that he had a nose in which, like I said, it was borderline if he put his nose down there, he got forced by the 66, uh, and that caused that incident. Boy, this is getting really intense. As you see, the 54 Koala, he is just trying to make a move, but boy, Robbie is just blocking him. Holy cow. Four car pack is formed to the back, 21, 19, 61, 92 on that side note. But as we mentioned, there's two packs. That second pack has now caught these drivers. The 66 is trying to lead these guys, 7, 13, 11, 90, and 89. All caught the main pack as 66 of Burtzer being pushed by the 7 of Chasing You, former teammates, trying to work their way to, uh, to get around this first pack. I'm going to have a great on boards. We're on board the 7 right now. And here he comes, 66 on the outside. 4 trying to pull up. 54 win as well. Try to slow down that momentum. 54 will have to lose a ton of spots, though. 66 will fall behind the 4, and that may stop the outside. As you mentioned, there you see. Yeah, look at that. Every, you see... Like I said before, that outside lane, it is, holy cow, they can't make a move on the outside. They, they're, There you see Caleb Hunt went down, and there you see the 7 are chasing you, and the 4 Robbie, are they, I, I believe they're going to let the uh, A9 go, as there you see Pat chasing you is going to pass the 4 of Robbie. Once again, Burser backing up for a run, has the 11 of Big D now behind him, 54 of Qual, looks like he's trying to back up and help these guys. Oh, or maybe slid on this pack, because right now we have three laps to go in Stage 2, and Birdster 
trying to make the run with the 54 of Koala. These are not teammates. 54 is a part of the Diesel Esports team. And the 66 owned by the, is with the Mike RPM team. It's Big D in the 11. Got tight middle corner. He pushes up and that leaves the 66 with minimal to no help. Here we come to two, oh, 39 hit the 54 of Koala there. Cyber hit hit. But here we come, two laps to go in stage number two. Yep, two to go in stage two. KD leads. Jason having a great point stay so far after he won stage one. He sits second. Ace strikes on a fantastic day in third. Cyber Carbonic, same goes for him, a fantastic day in fourth. Koala finished stage one in P5, and he sits P5 now, but one car. The most aggressive driver in the series, Burster, is going to make all the moves he can to win a stage or get some sta much needed stage points. Because right now, he only got not, he got ninth in stage one, so only two points earned from him in that first stage. And you know he wants more. And he's trying to back up with help from his teammate in the 13 of Caleb Hunt at the 66 car. And he's going to try to wait for the back stretches. We're coming to one to go in stage number two. Yep, one lap to go. As you see, some guys. Hit you see those guys are pitting because they want to stay if they catch that at the end of stage two they'll get the free pass but you know as you mentioned one lap to go will someone make a move on the last lap here in stage two c6 huge run we're on board with Brett Burster right now he has help behind him Burster huge run here goes outside the 54 actually whoa never mind that pack did not get very well formed only the 13 helping and he will get side by side with the 08, but he'll most likely just fall back if the 54 can close that gap. That outside line was not falling well at all. It's 13. Caleb Hunt leaves his teammate to go to the wow. inside. KD is coming off down through the trioval, coming to his green white 19 to his 19 is outside. 99, excuse me, couldn't do it. Five of KD wins stage number two. Great job by Katie there, and I was surprised the 13, not a playoff driver, but teammate of the 66 left his teammate there. Uh, once again, quite a surprise to me. I figured this 13 was kind of a ride or die with the 66 there, uh, doing everything he could to help his teammate, but went for the stage points. Um, so we'll go with the top 10. Here's KD, wins stage number two. Fantastic job by him. He's been on fire for the second half of the SCNS season. See if we can get the rest of our top 10 here. And it looks like Brandon will not give that to us, unfortunately. <laughs> Only way you can get the finishing orders here for the stages and for the finishing orders uh, through that, but we'll try to get the best we can here. One car who we know is going to try to fight through the back of the front, and that's Coach Matt. He's been involved in two wrecks uh, in both stages has not earned any stage points and I believe he's the only playoff driver uh, along with the number 13 of Brennan to not get any stage points this entire race 19 of Brennan excuse me so the 9 and the 19 two guys uh, coach Matt had the big playoff point buffer to help him out so his uh, hit that doing that to him will not be that big of a worry but the 19 of Brennan's all the points he can get uh, who came into this round of 8 to 7th so we're back on way though in stage 3 and is KD on the inside being pushed by the 99 of Jason and the 54 of Koala Going into turn three. Those Toyos have found that speed, as you see the 66 right there. Yeah, 66. Um, uh, Brewster, uh, Bert, sir, he has got that Toyota train working. He is going to work with those Toyos and get to the front, as you saw. Uh, Caleb Hunt, he was he restarted in the fourth position, and look where he is. He is dropping like a rock on that restart. Caleb Plant now back to 18th, unfortunately, for that number uh, 13 team. As everybody trying to fill in, fall in to the inside line as quick as I can. Chasing you, 60 uh, in the seventh, 61 Jerker Smoker, all fall to the inside in the early teens. Back there near 14th, 15th. Uh, but Coach Matt, as we said, he makes some moves to try to get it back up there. Him and the 19, they're trying to work together, it appears. And he's going to clear. Yep, 19, nine past the 19. How up from the 51? That's his teammate, easy E. Teammates with the nine. Yeah, they're trying to make that outside work, and he's doing a fantastic job of doing that. And yes, as you mentioned, you know, Brennan and uh, Coach Matt are in the... Oh! Brennan gets shoved out of line. Holy cow, and he keeps it going, and good save, Brennan. That is that is how you wheel here at Talladega, but as I was saying, Brennan, if I was Brennan, I'd work with the nine so we could get some points in here, but, I mean, it's Talladega. 
you got to fight for each position, each spot, every time. Yeah, it looked like there the 11 of Big D got a little tight uh, off the corner and got into the 9 of Coach Matt, and doing that caused a scramble. 51 made contact with the 19, but they all saved it. Uh, fantastic job there, but that hurts the 9 and the 19's run. Both of them had a great run on that outside, could not make it happen, but the 4 of Robbie Racing, oh, very high in the middle of 3 and 4. He will lose a ton of spots as he got shuffled out of line. Yeah, he gets, he was up there running it inside the top 5, 10, and top five and or the top ten until now and he has dropped really far and boy that high side is not working out for anyone in this late going up here at Talladega. No you see the 19 51 and 4 as we have one car off the pace already the 89 of expert sniper has lost the giraffe very impressive qualifying over the 89 team at best qualifying position of the season I believe he started P8 or P7 excuse me uh, unfortunately, not the day he has been hoping for after that qualifying result, but a lot of playoff drivers in the back, the 9, the 19, and the 4, hopefully all can get lined up, but those guys are all playoff drivers, so we'll see what they can do as it appears that 19, 9, and 21, or 19, 4, and 21 might have lost the draft. As we see, yeah, they've lost the draft, but they oh, have... Nope. The 19 of Brennan is going to work with Robbie, and will that, will they, well, they're hoping, I hope, I'm thinking they're going to go for they a caution it. right here. They do have the draft now. Uh, these guys did were able to work together and catch the 51 of EZ, 08 of A strikes. Uh, I've not fallen back, but these guys do now have the draft, and which makes this pack 17 deep from all in this single file line, so... Uh, <laughs> These guys could do anything if anybody can make an answer. Oh, big checkup is the four of Robbie. You can see how big this checkup is. The four of Robbie, twenty of El Griggs, stayed in throttle, just kept the outside, and they just almost passed two cars, almost three. And they will fall in line, maybe, as that was a major stack up to the front. As I mentioned before, we're seeing this freight train. I mean, something's got to give here, because it's Talladega. If you go to any super speedway, it's a recipe for disaster. Either the big one happens, or some, or you that something's gonna give. I'm telling you, because this freight train probably won't last for very long. One car going to the back. Easy E. He is now back to the 16th, 17th position, and that number 51. But right now, it's all at here to win esports team. Right now, Katie sits first. Kill like Jason second, and Burster fourth. All that, all those cars owned by Mike RPM, and the one car, longer car in between that group, the 54 Koala, as well as a Toyota, but it's owned by the Diesel Esports team of Diesel Rothgib, so, uh, of Corey Rothgib, so, uh, <laughs> he knows he doesn't have much help up here, so his best bet is to stay up, uh, try to keep his position, stay third, is three wide, middle of the pack, Jocko middle, Robbie Racing on the outside, as Coach Matt on the inside, all these guys, they're trying to get as many positions as they can, especially the playoff drivers. As you mentioned, there's Coach Matt. He is now got that draft right there, and he is working with that group. And you know, he's hoping not to get caught up in another wreck so that he doesn't get forced back in that position because he is having I'm sorry to say this, but he is not having a good night here at Talladega Super Speedway. We see now MJO. Losing some ground, he will now fall in line back of the inside. Two cars, two teammates working on that outside line. 92 of Jocko, 08 of Ace Strikes. Those two, uh, the Saints duo, if you will. Uh, those two guys finished one two at Dover, the second race of the season, and you know made a statement for that team, uh, showing they were here to play. But right now, uh, only two cars in this pack. It is not doing very well for them on that outside as they will fall to the back and fall into the inside line once again. If anybody wants to try to make a move here, they're going to have to group up. They're, everybody has to get uh, one car. I probably, if I could name some off the 39 of Dick for Sniper, or 39 of Cyber K Bionic, excuse me, would be the best car to do it in this 39, who sits fifth right now. Uh, and probably the first car who will try to make a move, because we know none of the top four will make moves. 54, if he makes a move, he goes to the back, because you know who's behind him, 66. Uh, Cyber is the first one that can make a move, in my eyes. He, have the, he has 11, the 7. Uh, all those cars behind him who are willing to make moves it's a shot to cyber if he uh, if he wants to if he feels like it uh, especially being a playoff driver if he wants to try to win this race he'll have to lead the move lead the charge is it one car Cy it's koala 
down below the apron something happened to 54 he will lose a ton of ground maybe a lag issue there we'll have to get a report on what happened there but contact with the 99 and that could have been lag because the 99 car of jason is known to have some lag issues from time to time but koala goes from third all the way back to what appears to be the 413th position and with that that's going to make it a lot harder for these guys to make moves 39 cyber k bionic it lies on him a lot more now i was just about to say it kind of looks like the 2021 daytona 500 all these guys but it's the it's the national series we're seeing the toyos working the toyos and you know the to the forge in real life worked together that whole night and then who won it? A Ford. And who do you th I think is going to win? Maybe a Toyota. Two cars are on the outside trying to make it work. Koala and Brennan on that outside. Those are teammates. They're three wide with each other. You know, it's not where, not where they want to be. Koala knows he has a fast race car. Just unfortunate circumstances. Ooh, is 19 trying to get back in line. Doors to 51. They do save it, however. But Koala funnel further back. And this is not what he wants. His coach Matt has a run now. 08 will not follow, but the 51 does. And you know these guys in the back, they're probably a little irritated right now. Nobody is really trying to make moves other than the guys sitting 10th or so. And when they do make moves, it's just about two or three of them. And that is not what you need to have to be able to make moves. Oh, Coach Matt just went up the racetrack. A big, big D hit him, and boy, they – oh, there goes Coach Mack on the, in the uh, double yellow line. He'll have to fall, fall back in. He does. Not sure what happened there with the 9 car. A little contact with the 11, it appeared. Oh, then he hits the 54, but they are still going. And I do ask you this, Slade. When do, are we going to see green flag pit stops? So we're coming to what I believe is... I believe we're coming to 18 to go, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and he's trying to have about 10 laps of fuel left. So these guys want to make a green flag pit stop. Uh, and they most likely will be taking right side tires and uh, about a can and a half of fuel. That's what I would assume they would take. Uh, if this thing is able to go green, it's, it will be a uh, little... It might be a little confusing, you know, these guys, if someone has a, a worn left side tire, they might have to take four. If somebody has great tire wear and doesn't have any tire wear throughout the entire run, they could take none. But we'll see what happens. As some jostling teammates, the 9, the 51, and the 7, all were making contact there, which as you see behind them, 3x3 three three behind, that just almost caused some carnage. They were, like I said, 7, 9, 51, all teammates uh, had some contact there. And what... Going back to where our, uh, you know, uh, last week on at Las Vegas, me and Koala mentioned what you don't need in the late goings is a speeding penalty because that will ruin your chances of either winning or getting that top five or top ten. This outside starting to gain some traction as here's chasing you leading with Coach Matt behind him, Joker Smoker and Koala followed by Robbie L. Griggs, Brennan all on the outside. They have to stay connected. Here comes Chasing you with a run. He now has put his nose ahead of the 11 of Big D. That puts him to fifth. And all these guys are trying to make it work on this outside. Everybody needs to stay connected, though, if they want to make it work. As you saw, there is the outside Ooh. length. The 11 got a little loose in the bottom. They started interrupting you. The 11 got loose in the bottom. That will stop up the inside line, and that will help the 7. As the 11 of Big D, he will be coming down pit road solo, which will hurt him on exit. But Big D on the, uh, will pit on the 11. That will slow up this inside and the outside. Heck of a run chasing you. Will take the lead as we enter turn one. Coach Matt behind him with Joker Smoker and Koala following. How about that? Like, I didn't expect the outside lane to work, but holy cow. Like, but do you, re well, remember last week, the KD who did, who wasn't really that fast at Road America didn't have that much of a good day and then the last lap he moved the seven to chasing you now it's probably the opposite because uh chasing you actually is now up front could he keep that car out front and not ha let that five do the same thing he did to him last week i love this because oh seven and nine eight contact 61 almost gets involved almost wrecks they do save however and I cannot believe that has happened because there's the rivalry throughout the entire Xfinity Series season has been the Here to Win team versus the Montgomery team. As it looks like Coach Matt looking to the inside, chasing you teammates. Maybe he might be letting his team owner go. He knows he's in the playoffs. Smart move. And that's what happens. Is chasing you is going to get sucked in the middle. No, he goes to the bottom. But on the outside, two guys who didn't even 
We have one driver, Al Griggs, who made the round of 12, and 61 Joker Smoker, who didn't even make the playoffs. Those two powerhousing on the outside. And I don't think that's about all they'll be able to go. Nobody would help. But as I was saying, the rivalry this season has been the Here to Win Esports team versus the Green Motorsports team. It was Coach Matt's team, uh, the 9, the 7, the 51, uh, versus the Here to Win Esports team. That's 66, 99, 5, uh, 13, the main cars in that team. That's been the rivalry all season. As you just saw there, the entire pack pretty much went with. Oh, it was contact. Oh, the, trouble. the five bumper hooks, the 51, and that will almost cause carnage. They save it. Fantastic job by Easy E. Just a little bumper hook situation there between the 5 and the 51. Uh, does not bring out a wreck. No caution. They stay green. Um, but as I was saying, the entirety, almost the entirety of that field went with the 9 and the 7 and just left the here to win esports drivers. The, the 5, the 66, and 99. Uh, so. <laughs> Quite wild what we just saw there, but looks like pit stops could be happening here soon for the mo majority of the fields. The seven went off the nine as the KD. five. Whoa, no. No. It's not, it's all that too. I was like, five's going to pit. But uh, you see, we had the Toyos one, two, three. Now we have the Chevys one, two, three. Now, I'm sorry, one, two, three, four, excuse me, because uh, A Strike right now is running in the fourth position. We saw, you know, those guys. Working together, as you see, that first Toyota is the 54 of Koala. And we already have a pack of cars that appear, uh, appear to lose the draft. And is this not what you want to see if you're a playoff driver in this pack? And they have for sure lost the draft. 19 of Brandon, 99 Kilt Like Jason, 92 Jocko, 90 of MJO. So only two playoff drivers in this pack that have lost the draft. Not and good for any of these drivers. The Looks like here comes some of the drivers as you see Brennan right there gonna pit. Koala looks like Yep, some guys are pitting. There's Griggs, he's pitting. Robbie. This might yep. be your final chance. Robbie, Griggs, Koala, Joker, Brennan all bring their machines down pit road for the final stops of the night. If it stays green, of course, if the caution comes out, they will most likely pit again. And for Brennan, it's two tires and I believe one and a half cans of gas. That's his strategy. We'll see what everybody else does. But it's still Chevy's out front. One, two, three. The Montgomery Motorsports team being one, two. Here comes the 54 of uh, Koala. Comes off of pit road with the 19 of Brennan. But as you mentioned, one, two, three for Chevy's is when is this group going to come in? Because here's. Go ahead. I was looking back at the cameras. Uh, the five car, see the 99. The five car has dropped back. Uh, I don't believe he pit, but the five is now back with the 99, the 90, and the 92. All these cars have not pit, so the five of KD, another playoff driver, has now lost the main main pack. And he, I don't, I think everyone knows this, but um, you know, these leaders are going to have to pit, and once these guys pit, that means the group just pitted with the 54, of Koala and that group, they will get their laps back and hopefully they will actually be back in contention to win this thing. But still right now it looks like yep, here coach Coach Mack and look at this group. Coach Matt, very conservative entry to pit road. Oh wait, quite aggressive. Thirteen of Kale Punt overshoots and he will for sure speed on pit road. Unfortunate event for the thirteen of Caleb Hunt. Uh, very fast in the pit road, to say the least. But the 7, the 08, they enter. Uh, the 9, very conservative, which is, honestly, that's what I would rather do. Very conservative entry. I like that for the 9. Uh, 08, very aggressive move. Hopefully, he did not speed. He's had a very fantastic run tonight. 7, he pit. That is chasing you. Uh, also down pit road, 90 of MJO. 92 of Jocko. So they come off the pits. 39 of Cyber also. He pit there, 51 of Easy E as they come off the pit. Seven, lead, seven comes off first, nine, 39, 51, 08. All these cars, they come off pits. It looks like in a pack as the the seven and the nine, they get out together. The 08, 51, and 39, they get out together. So very slow pit stops for this group here. But as we go on to the leaders here, the 66 of Birdster, who just pit was your leader, and he brings on the 5 and the 99, that Here to Win Esports team. They all come together. Great strategy by these guys. And with that, this is the leader right now. That is Birdster as one car still oh, on pit. Robbie just hit the 92. Sorry to interrupt, but 92 of Jocko didn't get going, and Robbie just pounded the back bumper of uh, Jocko. 
Wow, that is, so then, yep, four not happy as he just fenced him again. Uh, I didn't get a camera up, but Nick, you're saying that the 92 was coming off the pits and just went right in front of the four? Looked like it, yeah, or I wow. believe he brake checked. If I just saw a glance at it and I was like, oh crap, looked like he, he came up, but yeah, little tempers a little bit. Yeah, you know he is not happy about that. Robbie, one of the cleanest guys in the in the league, if not the cleanest, getting driven like that. He knows he's not happy about that. Um, and we saw Caleb Plant back there. He uh, looks like Caleb sped on pit road. And all these guys, and they might have sped too, the 21, 11, 92. They're all back here. As right now, your leader, as we go back to the front of the pack, here is the front. A strikes as, yep, up front. Seven of chasing you with Coach Matt second. And you have to go for a little further back to get the rest of these guys. Third is eight strikes as you see in the purple car in front of you. Fourth is right now Birdster. Fifth, KD. Uh, battling with Easy e for fifth. Seventh, Cyber K Bionic. And these guys, these seven, will, the ones we, will be the ones. What is, well, they're battling for the win, but it looks like the 66 just let the 51 go. Quite a weird strategy there by Birdster. I'm not sure what is going on here. Uh, oh, it appears that the 66 is trying to ask what it is. 66 is trying to let up for the 99 of Kill Like Jason. Jason is that one car all by himself uh, now come off turn two. It looks like he's trying to let off for the 99, which not a good strategy. If I do say so myself, I would not be doing this if I was Burster. This is actually a bad strategy. He's losing so much time right now trying to get the 99. In one car, it will help, but it will not help that much. As you mentioned, you know, we see the host. We see the seven. Could this, he's hoping to get his redemption after last dominating Road America. He is hoping to get that redemption from last week. But anything can happen in these closing laps. It appears that two tires on a can and a half field was the strategy call almost by everybody here. At the seven and nine, they lead bumper to bumper. Tatum drafting, if you will, hoping the 89 falls behind to give another car because every car helps if you're the, these front two. And with this, 89 does not jump down, which is, uh, he, you know, these two would want it. Same with the 08. 08 would love for the 89 to jump down and give him some draft. But the 08 of Expert Sniper, or of Ace Strikes, if I was the 7, this might be a crazy call. If I was the 7, I would slow down to get the 08. I would make sure, I mean, you don't have to slow down a lot, maybe a tenth or so. And you're grabbing the 08, give you three cars of draft, which is what you need. Uh, and I believe that's what they just did, actually. The 7 and the 9 yeah. have slowed down about a tenth or two. They're grabbing the 08 and make sure they have enough horsepower to try to get this race complete as when we cross the start finish line there we have as of course the stream is a little bit delayed for Brennan so sorry for this little slight delay on the lap count but as they cross the start finish line last time by can't even get a view of it <laughs> I believe we have five or six laps to go sorry the stream is a little glitchy on the 19 car but as we go back to the pack number two this is the pack. They slow down to get Jason. Burster leads this pack. Katie second. Cyber third. Jason fourth. Easy fifth. That is not the running order. That is where they're at in this pack. And I said it was a bad strategy call because I thought it was. They lost so much time going to the back. But they are catching the front three at a blistering pace. They have five cars now in this pack, which... When I, did, when I did say that, I figured they'd have four, but five cars in this pack. They are blisteringly catching the seven, the nine, and the 08. So, Burster, I said it was a bad move. It looks like it might be, it could be the winning move of the race as we now have five laps to go. Now we got five to go. There we go. We're coming to four laps to go as we go back around. And this pack is coming, and when we reach the start, the front uh, start finish line, we might see the 66 blow by this these three. You mentioned it, here they come with a big run, and looks like, you know, this KD, can he help out, but here comes this big wow. group, it looks like A-Strike is going to let them go, and he's like, you know what, I'm going to let them go, they're faster than who than me, I'm just going to let them go, let's look at this, Jason three, three wide. wide, yep, Jason will try to follow, he does get on eight thirty nine. 39, Birdster to the lead, KD looking for second, Jason looking for third, and they stay up there. Oh, boy, and this... they're going to lead to 39. Yep, they left the 39. The, the here to win esports team just slung, sl slingshot first, the third, and wow, they went back to get Jason. Lost about a second and a half of time to get the 99, and this is how it pays off. One, two, three for this team, and I mentioned the 08 let off there. 
what the 08 was trying to do, he was trying to make their run a little bit slower. If you if you're the last car in a pack and you back off, you will slow down that run. Not slow them down, but it'll take them longer to get to that front car. So that's what the 08 appeared to be doing. But now here's how you have to play it smart. The seven, they're all Chevys behind them, fourth through eighth are all Chevrolets chasing you, Coach Matt, Ace Strikes, Saber K Bionic, and Easy e All these cars can do what they can to make the runs. We see here, I just said, oh, it was doing the 99 is letting off on the 7 to try to prevent this guy, these guys from getting a run. Or trying oh, to get a run himself. Either way. They are coming to two laps to go. Anything can happen. Let's see what they do here. Will the nine is the ninety nine trying to get a run for himself, or is he? Oh, is the nine car only to seven? Coach Matt to fourth. Hopefully, chasing fall behind. He does. Maybe a little strategy call by them too, trying to make sure the best car in front. As Robbie Racing just got off of pit road, not the day he won that four team. As you see, Coach Matt backing up, trying to get a run. And it appears we get a Coach Matt on board. Jason, that's what Jason's doing. Now, you know this is going to make everybody in that second pack upset. Jason is backing off of the five so that these guys in that second pack cannot get a run, which you could say it's manipulating. You could say it's what's what, whatever you want. It's You know the guys fourth on back hate it, but he's doing what he can to make sure this team gets a top three as, he, as Coach Matt trying to do the best he can to build a run. If I'm Coach Matt, you have to start letting off right now so you can try to build around the 99 letting off. But we're coming to one lap to go, brought to you by Spivet Collective. Will Burst be able to hold on? Or will Coach Matt get the run? Or will someone else get the W here today? As you mentioned, white flag. I'm hoping KD goes back to back, but here they come. They're in the turn one. Coach Matt letting off, trying to get the run the best he can. Jason also letting off, though. If I, hey, Coach Matt, I think he can get the run. Coach Matt goes high. Jason does not block, but there's not going to be a big enough run to be, make this move unless they can just hold the outside. What does KD do? Does he does he go to the top? Does he go Jason to Jason goes to block. Coach Matt down low. KD, Jason covers him off. The, top, the back half will stack up. Nothing Coach Matt can do unless he can try to pull out last second. One last chance to the bottom. KD Did looking I high now. Jason, he's coming low. Jason, can he make the move? No, Jason's no, going to stick and push. Burster, Burster will win. The Heart of Dixie 150. Good job, Burster. Good job. That Here to Win esports team did all they could to keep the nine and the rest of that pack behind them, and they did it. What a race. As we saw, the, the five was just trying to, it looks like he was trying to win, but the 99, who was laying back to hold off the nine and the rest of that pack, and push the 66 to the win, team player, but the 66 of Birdster will move on to the round of four and will fight for a championship here in the Speedway Plague of National Series. Here's our fish more to hear tonight. Birdster, as we said, gets the W, his first win in a long time. He said, we said before, he had two wins in the first 10 races and has not won since. He won the first race at Auto Club, so it's been a while since he's won. Uh, and Birdster gets it done here at Talladega. Jason will finish second, our stage one victor. Stage two winner, that's KD in the five. He finishes third today. We will hear from those three drivers here at post race. Coach Matt will finish fourth after a rough first two stages, chasing you fifth. Cyber Kabonic sixth. Easy E. Great run seventh. A strikes first race in a while back. He finishes eighth. Koala and Brandon, the two diesel esports cars, they finished ninth and tenth after a great start, great stage point run for those two, but uh, not a great finishing order in the stage three as they got separated from the main pack and the rest of the field. As we scroll on through, we're going to check the messages here as we before we take uh, after we take our break after getting the order here. Uh, if you know there are gonna be some unhappy drivers after that, uh, cause if I was coach, man, I'd be upset. But I mean, Jason, Jason's pretty much just gave up his chance to win to for that team to finish good and for him to get that uh that number that P2 finish. So uh, and here's the rest of the finish one here. MJ will finish 11th. L Griggs 12th. Tucker Smoker 13th. Big D 14th. 15th. Caleb Hunt after he spent on pit road 16th. Jo Jocko Playoff driver Robbie Racing, not the greatest days for him tonight. He finishes 17th in a night where he needed a lot of points and 18th closing out the field expert sniper. We'll hear from the top three here tonight, KD, Jason, and Burster, as we'll be right back. This is the Valley Racing League on YouTube, and you just tuned in to the Heart of Dixie 150 at Talladega.
Interviews will begin here shortly. Drivers, please make sure your radios are set to allow. And we are back here on the Valley Racing League. You just watched the Heart of Dixie 150 here at Talladega. And what a race, stage one and two. We saw a few drivers get taken out, uh, which no cautions were thrown, which for stage three, we had 17 drivers fighting for a win until pits up started and some strategies varied in which helped a few. The nine and the seven and the 08 were able to pull away with about a three second lead. The 99, the five, and it appeared to be also the 39 and the 51 all dropped back to pick the 99 with about eight laps to go. And which I said was a dumb move. Like I said, we just had to put that. I was kind of dogging that move. I did not think it would work out. Uh, and then with about three laps to go, they were able to make that pack work. Five cars, V3 obviously gets the run. And doing so, Burster was able to get ahead. And the Hero 1 Esports cars were able to go 1, 2, 3 after that move in which they stayed. They did stop around a little bit. Katie did fall back to third, Jason to second. But... One, two, three for the team for these Toyotas, and Katie will be who, who we were talking to first. Katie, you got a copy? Yep. Katie, very impressive run as always. Stage two winner. Great stage points here tonight and finishes P3. Walk us through your race. Uh, I knew uh, our team had the best cars in the field. I mean, we could just make anything happen. We had that, that move in the first stage where us three just passed the – I think it was the front three guys, and it just – we felt like we it felt like we just like zoomed by and like it was unreal the speed. And I think and then uh, stage two I think it was us just up there again for the whole stage and stage three. Uh, we we thought there was a chance that we could save the gas, but then we figured out that we couldn't. So we pitted like after most people did. We came out behind that one group and uh, Jason was uh, behind us by a good bit. And uh, he was telling us to try to come back there and pick him up. And me and Fur didn't really know if it was going to work, but we decided to eventually. And then obviously it worked out. We got one, two, three. Yeah, that's one thing I have to uh, have a talk about because you can ask Nick. I was uh, questioning the move, but obviously in just a few laps, five cars obviously beats three. You guys would have worked your way up to that front pack. Now, be honest with me, Katie, did you think that that move was going to work out when y'all were uh, discussing it? Uh, when we were talking about it, I I thought we would get there, but I think I thought it might have been like too late. I thought that we might have we might catch them on like the last lap, and then we wouldn't really have time to get up there. But I mean, we caught them really quickly. I knew when when we first got in that pack, when we caught when the 99 got back to us, like the first lap of us drafting together, we gained like a second. I knew we were I knew it was a good decision right off of that. For sure, man. Well, the strategy call of the night, and we did say, uh, actually, after after y'all got from five, I did say that that could have been a m winning move of the night, and it appeared to be. So, Katie, thank, good job on your P3 finish. Came into the playoffs, or the round of eight, seated second, and with a great points night tonight, should be a breeze for you next week at Phoenix. So, thank you for your time in the booth, and congrats on your third-place finish. Yep, thank you. 
Next up, our pole setter. Very impressive run tonight. Stage one winner, Jason, uh, with a great team player on those final uh, three or so laps, which may be some controversial moves by some of the field. But Jason, a P2 finish was in your books tonight, along with a stage one victory. With the amount of points you had coming into tonight, you need a day like this. Walk us through your race. Uh, I knew this would be a good track for me. Usually always run good here, whatever car. Uh, first day, just try to ride up front. Man, I try to convince my teammates, be patient, man. Just be patient, just ride it out, man. Super speedway, you just got to be patient to the end. Uh, and they got a little erratic at the beginning. But uh, stayed out front, first day, second stage, got all grouped back together. Just wanted to dominate that stage. And third stage, uh, got to pit road. I really wanted to save the whole way and gas, but I don't know, I kind of figured we'll be a couple laps short. So I got to pit road and was about a second, second and a half behind. But I tried to, I had to convince my teammates, man, two cars versus four or five, we're going to get them. So I let them, convince them to come back. Uh, they came back. I knew we were going to get them probably in a couple of laps because we were pulling the whole second every lap. Uh, once we got to them, I figured I had the 39 in between us, so I figured if we're going to stay on the hot side, the middle's going to be open. And I'll be able to get by the 39. And as soon as I got there, got to the middle, had the five car come down, worked it out perfect, and just held on to it. Fantastic team chemistry, uh, might I add. Like I said, you guys coordinated all of this uh, in a pack of 17 to be able to work your way to a 1 2 3 finish. Um, yeah, that's, man, that's kind of what it's about. People, A lot of people don't understand. I think it's just super speedway racing. I mean, it's really a method to this. I mean, <laughs> it's kind of like football or something. You know, it's a whole playbook. You got to look 10 steps ahead. And really understand the super speedway. A lot of people don't get it. For sure. And one thing, uh, I said the booth. I did not. I was not hundred percent sure if you were trying to build a run or you were doing the tactic of where the final car in line, uh, they kind of lag back to make sure the other pack cannot get a run. Uh, but appeared obviously at the end of the race, you were doing this the second of the two, uh, yeah, lagging back. I, I was fifty. I was fifty fifty on it at first. I was gonna. At first, it was for the block. And I'm like, well, maybe I'll run with them at the last lap and get second or get second or first. And then I kind of didn't work out, so I figured just throw a little block and throw another block. I mean, it, I don't know, it can be a clean block, and I, I don't really care, honestly. But, <laughs> I mean, that was dirt. No, no blocks were thrown that I, I thought was dirty. I was just uh, asking you because I was unsure of which um, which one you're doing, but. I mean, you got your team of one, two, three. Nothing really dirty, if you will. But uh, obviously, I said in the in the closing laps that I knew that that move would uh, make a few people behind you mad. But um, uh, I won't think that's, I won't think that's anything dirty. Obviously, it's uh, it's unliked it's by <laughs> it's it's un, it's unliked by a few guys. Um, obviously, but gotta do what you gotta do um, to get you a, a top three finish. And what you did, you had a great point state tonight. Um, and when you'll go on to Phoenix, which, like I said, you were. I believe you came into the playoffs. I believe you were seated fifth, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong on that. Um, okay. So, a great point to today. Looking soft for Phoenix. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, that's a kill like Jason. Driving 99, Jordan Supra. Fantastic day for him with a stage one victory and a P2 finish, oh, as well as a pole. As well as a pole. Stage one victory, excuse me. Stage one victory and a pole. And with that, the third of the four... Uh, here to win cars in the race tonight and our winner that is Burster it's been a while since you win victory lane Burster you won the first race at Auto Club and had a fantastic run tonight get the W your third win of the season and this locks you into the championship four walk us through your race Burster yeah hey man um, first two stages were a little shaky like I said everybody's getting impatient I got shoved to the back a few times and it was very you know finished like eight and ten and then my, my teammates got last pit stop there, we were saving for a little while, and then we said, when we pitted, we come out, and there was three cars ahead of me, and my teammate was behind me, KD, and Jason was way, way back, so at first, I wouldn't want to slow up, but I was like, man, we gotta pick him up, at least have a chance, you know, because I don't be him, let Coach Matt take it that easy. I did mention that uh, when y'all are going back, I said, or when y'all passed him, excuse me, I said the rivalry all season has been the Here to Win team versus the Montgomery team. That is obviously the, the top three here tonight, 66, 5, 99, as we mentioned uh, during that time, as well as the 13 car, um, as well as the, um, oh, that's actually the team, excuse me, that's the team. I, I thought y'all had another car. Uh, and then 
y'all have for the Montgomery team, you have the seven, the nine, the fifty-one, and as well as the one. The one has not been here in a few weeks. Um, that's been rather all season. Coach Matt popped up first half. That Montgomery team was on fire. They won, I want to say, seven of the first ten races. And the second half kicked in, and the Here to Win Esports team came in. You had KDs popping off, and everybody was running good. Uh, I was going to ask, did that, have, did that have any effect? Was it kind of a, oh, we can easily get this. We can probably run with these guys. But, oh, if we got five, we can make sure that we clear these guys. Y'all caught that. I was mentioning this as well. Y'all caught that at the perfect time off turn four. We had like nine or eight laps to go. We decided. Yeah, yeah. It was about nine or so to go when um, the move was made. But uh, it's about three to go. Y'all had to make it work, and it was just positioned. I couldn't tell because when y'all did that, the reason I had already had the thing of what Jason did letting off the pack is because apparently the 08 tried to do that. I could have been. I could be wrong on that. Could have been a lag issue. Could have been he just let off. But the 08 also slowed down a little bit there, and that's why um, y'all had to pull out so soon, but y'all had to make the move. Um, last question. Locked into the championship four. You don't have to worry about Phoenix. You can go fight uh, at Homestead for a championship. How's your confidence level for Homestead? Oh, I'm feeling pretty good. Did some testing there not too long ago. Now I don't have to worry about making it, so just put all my focus into the final race and try to get a championship. For sure, man. Well, Bursar, thank you for your time in the booth, and congrats on your third one of the season. We'll see you next week, and as well, for sure, fighting for a championship at Homestead in two weeks. This is Birdster, driving our season six for the Here to Win Esports team, claiming the W. And with that, Nick, that concludes us. Another broadcast here in the Valor Racing League. What were your thoughts on, the final, on your final thoughts for the race tonight? It was the best plate racing I've ever seen. It's way better than real life but uh i'd like to say congratulations to uh brewster congratulations good luck in homestead in two weeks man um you know it's just i've never seen how much i've never seen a race with a super speedway with no cautions but i'll deal with it and um uh, like i said good luck to everyone into the next week and uh good luck to you brewster go get him bud yep Head to Phoenix next week, and we cannot wait for that as short track racing this season has been fantastic. Last time we went to short track, race, short track racing, we were at Richmond, and there we saw Cyber Cabonet claim his first win of the season, uh, first career win at BRL, uh, their first win of the season. But with that, that closes us out here in the booth. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in to tonight's broadcast in the Valley Racing League for the Heart of Dixie 150 at Talladega. Burster gets a W with help from his teammates of the Here to Win camp who pull off a 1-2-3 victory for the entire team in which throughout the day went. They were the dominant team and they're sitting pretty for Phoenix in the round of eight. Next, you'll, tomorrow night on the channel, you will see us in the Pokemon Cup Series at Talladega as well, which you will actually see everybody we just talked to in the top three. They will also be racing that as well. Um, none of them fighting for the round of eight, unfortunately. Um, but you'll see all three of them as well at Talladega, 8.30 Eastern Standard Time. Daylight time, excuse me. Uh, same track, same. Most likely, some of these guys in the field, you will see them. Uh, and then next Monday, like I said, the final race, the round of eight, uh, only two race uh, rounds, if you will. Um, you'll see them at Phoenix. So cannot wait for the next two weeks of Valor Racing. Uh, thank you everybody for tuning in for the entirety of the season and for tonight as well. Thank you. Everybody have a good night.